Todd Chrisley dropping his appeal in defamation lawsuit. Hello everyone, my name is Alana B. Welcome back to my another video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Todd Chrisley has gone through several legal troubles over the past year. It has gotten to the point where he has finally relented on one of the lawsuits he was involved in. Chrisley has reportedly dropped an appeal he had filed in a defamation lawsuit. Here is what you need to know about the lawsuit Chrisley dropped and what it means. Todd Chrisley drops defamation lawsuit appeal. During the initial investigation, Todd Chrisley attacked Department of Revenue investigator Amy Doherty Hines on social media and said the investigation was illegal and improperly motivated. Doherty Heinz sued Chrisley for defamation. Like with most of his legal problems, Todd lost this lawsuit. In April, the federal judge found Chrisley guilty of one count of libel and one count of slander. The jury awarded Doherty Heinz compensatory damages of $350,000 plus punitive damages of $170,000 and attorney's fees, totaling about $755,000 in overall damages. Chrisley appealed the decision. However, he has since voluntarily dropped the appeal via WSB TV 2. The dropping of the appeal is pursuant to the joint stipulation of the parties to dismiss. While Todd has dropped his appeal against the Doherty Heinz decision, Todd and Julie Chrisley are still appealing their conviction in the bank fraud and tax evasion case. Todd and Julie Chrisley lose even more money. Todd and Julie Chrisley also just lost a $30,000 trust held in Alabama. A federal judge ordered that they turn over that money to help pay the $17 million judgment following their guilty verdict. The judge said the couple could respond to the order but when they didn't, he ordered the money to be turned over by the law firm. The Chrysleys were found guilty of committing tax evasion and defrauding banks out of over $30 million in loans. Julie was also found guilty of obstruction of justice and wire fraud. They were sentenced to 12 years, Todd, and 7 years, Julie, in prison. Todd is set to be released on November 23, 2032, and Julie on August 20, 2028. This is two years early for Todd and 14 months earlier for Julie. The Chrysler said that an Internal Revenue Service officer lied on the witness stand about how much money the defendants owed the IRS at the time of their trial. However, the federal judge refused to hold a hearing on those allegations. The couple's attorney said they didn't owe any money to the IRS at the time of the trial, but the revenue officer was told to lie on the stand. U.S. Assistant Attorney Annalise Peters said that whether or not any taxes were owed at the time of the trial was immaterial to any element to any charge in this case. What are your thoughts on Todd Chrisley dropping his appeal in the defamation case? Do you think there is any chance the Chrisleys will get out of prison before their sentences end? Kayleen Lowry slams Mama June for stealing family's money. The star of Teen Mom 2, Kayleen Lowry, is not at all fond of the way Mama June Shannon mismanaged her family's finances. The reality star expressed her frustration with the circumstances and emphasized the need of hiring a financial counselor in a recent TikTok. While appearing on reality television can mean a nice salary, it also involves careful money management. Elena, June's youngest daughter, may currently file a lawsuit on the circumstances. See what Kaylin had to say and the reactions of the viewers by continuing to read. Kaylin Lowry feels frustrated about June Shannon's spending. Despite having her fair share of internet detractors, Many people felt Kayleen Lowry's thoughts on Mama June Shannon were quite insightful. Despite having made her fair share of bad choices, Kaylin is committed to doing whatever it takes to safeguard her kids' finances. The OP's Reddit post was titled, Kale discusses Mama June spending all of Honey Boo Boo's money, discusses how her children's money is handled, and uses a financial planner. 
I just found this to be intriguing. Although I don't really like Kale, I think she said certain things that were true. In the video, Kaylin claims that safeguarding their child's income is a necessary aspect of being a mother on reality TV. June Shannon did not do that, obviously. Although June Shannon and her family may not have had the best financial background, the teen mom two-star notes that Kayleen also didn't. According to Kayleen, June should have found someone to assist her in handling the money wisely rather than wasting it. The OP was quickly endorsed by other Redditors, while many acknowledged that they weren't big fans of Kayleen, they felt that she raised a lot of pertinent concerns regarding Mama June. Included remarks. TikTokers react to the video fans of Mama June. Family Crisis know that this crisis is far from over as the most recent season continues. The stolen money has angered June's daughters, and they have every right to demand justice. How do you feel about the June Shannon video that Kayleen Lowry made? Do you think she makes valid points? Post your own ideas and viewpoints in the comments section. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, America Trends 24, and stay with us.